So I've owned a small rig 80-01 and I recently upgraded to the 80-100. And if you're considering a tripod and you can't decide between the two, and if you're wondering if it's worth the extra money, I'll go over their biggest selling points, their features, what I love about each tripod, and not so much. Hi, my name's Tom. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you haven't already, and you found this video informative or entertaining, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, now back to the video. So what exactly are the differences between the 80-01, even the 80-80, and the 80-100? Small Rig features three fluid head tripods. The first one, the 80-100, is made out of aluminum and it's their budget-friendly model. The 8080 is also made out of aluminum and it's the middle of the road. Both the 8080 and the 80-100 feature the one-step locking mechanism, but the 8100 is the top-of-the-line model with carbon fiber. Let's take a look at the 8001, the budget-friendly tripod. This tripod has been quite reliable. And although it's heavy, it folds up real nicely, and it's been very dependable and treated me really, really well over the last three years. Now, you may or may not know that Small Rig has a very unique quick release system that can accept both DJI and standard Manfrotto plates, giving you a lot of versatility. So let's take a look at the 80-100. What makes it so special? Well, it features a one-step locking mechanism that's shared with the Dash 80, and once you've used it, you simply can't go back. It's also very versatile and very compact with a noticeable difference in weight, but it also features an updated fluid head that now allows you to change the dampening and an updated quick release system, which I prefer, but that's subjective. So the 80-01 I've had for a long time and it's been on several different shoots with me. It's big, it's heavy, it's reliable. I can throw on a heavy camera on there and it's gonna handle it just fine. Yes, the legs are a bit cumbersome, especially when you have something heavy on there and you gotta make an adjustment. So that is a drawback. Likewise, the fluid head, although it's good, it's not great. It does kind of bind a little bit. Once you kind of get it going and it breaks free, it's very smooth, but it does have a break. I also love the details and all the little features that Small Rig puts into their products, but you'll find that on both tripods. And of course, it comes at a great price. So it's heavy, it's clunky, but it's reliable and it's heavy duty. And then you have the 8100, which is considerably lighter because it's made out of carbon fiber. Now it too also has all those little thoughtful features that Small Rig is known for but it has some big improvements. And obviously one of the biggest features is the one latch adjustable leg system. You don't need to now unlatch the bottom portion of the leg and then the top portion. You just unlatch the top portion, which is easily accessible to you. And you literally lift the tripod up and it will adjust to its full height. It's a very neat feature. And when you have something very heavy on, it's just fantastic, it's clutch. The next biggest feature is they did upgrade the fluid head. It is now an adjustable fluid head and it is very much welcomed. If you're looking for more of a pro fluid head, more of a reliable, smooth motion, this is a fantastic fluid head. The legs can now be spread and adjusted. You can actually adjust the spread of the legs. It doesn't get very low though. So if you're looking for really low, low shots where you can get very close to the ground, just be aware that it does have a minimum height. And I know that sounds like a minor thing, but again, it's a very thoughtful thing. When you're in a very tight area and you have to make that adjustment, believe me, it really does count. So again, very, very thoughtful feature. Both tripods can level. You can tilt and adjust the head without having to move anything. And that may again sound very minor, but believe it or not, there's high-end tripods that don't even have that feature. Now the 8100 is significantly more expensive than the 8001, but keep in mind, it's priced very competitively 
compared to similar tripods in the same category. So this thing definitely hits above its weight class. So I gave you guys some cons in regards to the 8001. Of course, there's no product that's perfect. There's also some cons with the 8100. First and foremost, there are some components that are plastic. And some of the components that are plastic are actually pretty important like the locking mechanism for the legs. When you have a heavy and very expensive cinema camera on there, you kind of look at the locking tabs of the locking mechanism and you cringe a little bit. Now, I haven't had any issues. Nothing has thankfully fallen over or broke or anything like that, but it makes me nervous. Likewise, from my experience, the fluid head has been fantastic and I love that you can adjust it. However, could be just early release of the product, I don't know, but I did find some older Amazon reviews that mentioned that their fluid had permanently locked and that was it, or it further developed a break and wasn't smooth anymore. Now, Small Rig has fantastic customer service. I mean, we all know that they've developed quite a reputation over the years. I do wanna do an updated review once I've had some time to take the carbon fiber version, the 8100, out to more shoots. I really wanna put it through its paces. Right now, I've taken it to a couple and it's sort of like the honeymoon phase. I'm in love with it, but I'll probably do an updated review, keep you guys posted. Now, which one's right for you? Honestly, I think it all comes down to which features are more important to you. For example, if you're just starting out, you're a filmmaker and you need a heavy duty tripod, then the 8001 is fantastic. I mean, the price that it comes in at, and sometimes you can find it for really cheap with like coupons, discount codes, small rig will have sales. It's really hard to beat. It's reliable, it's dependable, it's done a fantastic job, and I've never really questioned it. If weight's not a big deal to you, then the 8001 is a great tripod. But if you're a more experienced filmmaker and you tend to lug around a lot of stuff, weight is a concern, you want something that's lighter, and more importantly, you depend on your tripod to get those buttery, smooth pan and tilt motions, then the 80-100, the carbon fiber version, is a fantastic tripod, and if you're not necessarily completely sold on the weight reduction, then the 8080, which is the same heavy-duty, updated fluid head, with the single latch system tripod, but it's aluminum, it's not carbon fiber, is also a great option. Personally, I would just save up and get the carbon fiber because of the weight reduction, but it's entirely up to you. That's it for me, guys. I hope you found this video informative, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody.